Hey everybody, today's Sunday, April 21st. So today I thought I'd share one of my little hobbies with you, which is origami. Which is going to be kind of difficult because I don't have a tripod, so we'll see how this works. Anyway, I'm going to show you how to make a lotus. So you want to start out with a square piece of paper. I happen to have origami paper, which is extra nice because it's different colors on different sides, but you can use whatever you want. This is also extra nice because it's thin and strong and like doesn't rip that easily. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to start off folding it like you're making one of those fortune teller things that you used to do in elementary school. So you're going to fold each of the corners into the center. I like to fold it diagonally both ways first so that I have lines to follow. And then once you've done that, you're going to do the same thing again. And then you're going to do the same thing again. And you want to make sure that you line them up as nicely as you can. And as this thing gets smaller, it's going to get harder and harder to fold. So you want to make sure you make your creases as sharp as you can. And then once you've done that three times, you're going to flip it over and you're going to do the same thing again. Once you've done that, you're going to take these corners here and you're going to fold them down about a quarter of the way. It doesn't really matter exactly how much it is. You don't have to be too precise. And then this is the tricky part. You're going to kind of push down on this corner and you're going to take the flap of the corner from underneath and bring it around and kind of turn it inside out. And that's going to make a petal. And you're going to do that for the other three as well. This is where it can get kind of tricky and it's really easy to rip the paper when you're doing this part. Sometimes I use my teeth to pull on the corner because it is just really stubborn if the paper is really thick. This paper, it's not too hard to do though. Once you finish that, you're going to take the next layers of flaps from underneath and you're going to also fold those out as far as they'll go without ripping. So those are going to be slightly turned inside out, but not as much as the ones before. I kind of ripped it there, but that's okay. And ta-da! You have a finished lotus. So very pretty. This looks kind of funny because it's green, so it kind of looks like a Brussels sprout. <laughs> Which I was not anticipating, but that's the idea. So there you go! Kind of just one of my little hobbies. One of my favorite things to do is I make little dresses, and then I use them for cards on wedding gifts and bridal shower gifts and stuff like that. Just because it's kind of unique, and not a lot of people do it, so it's kind of cute. I will see you tomorrow!